again, everyone. Welcome to North Dakota Today. I'm with uh, Chef Randall, yep. and we are here in the Cashway kitchen. And uh, you asked me before, do you want to take part in this? And I said, of course I do. Mm -hmm. So it looks like you and I are we, we have, doing this match, together. Match. We're mirrored. Okay. Yes. What are we doing? So we're going to make a, a, a shrimp, or actually shrimp, um, chicken uh, margarita, pasta margarita. So that contains, uh, so we have some angel hair pasta. And then we have this really nice uh, chopped tomato. So this is roasted tomatoes that have a little bit of uh, olive oil, some uh, garlic and basil. It's a product that we sell and I've just kind of gotten in love with this. Okay. We have some white wine and then we have our chicken. Now this comes from those pterodactyl chicken that we've been using. Boy, that has you know, been around for, <laughs> that's why we call it pterodactyl. <laughs> well, but anyway, but anyway. Uh, it, there's, there's just ways of utilizing these things. And so these are kind of all the little fiddly bits that we get from that breast. And you can see that I have still a little bit of the fat and skin on there, and I do want that. Uh, it's going to add some flavor, and it's going to add some moisture, and it's going to add some richness to our chicken. Good. So there is a reason I want that. Now, if you don't care for that, you can certainly cut that or trim that off. Right. Uh, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, season our chicken. And this is a communal. I don't. I don't. You don't have your own here. This is a communal seasoning bowl. Okay. The one thing about that is that make sure that when you are seasoning, that you uh, uh, don't have you know your your clean hands. You know, meaning that you know you, you don't want to go in there with chickeny hands in there because once that you do, you got to get rid of it because wash yeah. your hands and yep. change your gloves. Yep. yep. Um, so we also have some basil. Now I don't know if viewers have noticed, but um, you know I, I you know they're probably wondering why does he always have herbs and stuff in in paper towels, and the reason why I do is that. So the other uh, day or the other week, uh, we had um, Chef Sargent uh, from Teddy's and he brought in this beautiful, beautiful basil. Now, it was kind of sad. It was kind of, you know, a little sad and didn't have much life. So what I did is I just kind of very lightly damped the uh, paper towel, carefully wrapped the, the basil in it, and then uh, it perked up. So now we have some basil that's a little bit more perked up. So you get a little bit and you get a little bit right. and we're going to end that. So let's go ahead and first do our garlic. So what I like to do is I like to smash it oh, first. Okay. So we make sure that your blade slides down. You know, you have to you might come down on it. There you go. Yeah. Then uh, we can. So this is what I call the smash and and and, and chop job. So we're gonna do a smash and chop job. And then, uh, when we got done with that, uh, we're gonna take the back of our knife and move our garlic. Okay, not so fast. Okay, well, still chopping. And this is with a head start prior to the show. <laughs> okay. So, you know, now use the back of the knife. Very good. Now, why do we use the back of the knife? So uh, you don't cut yourself? No. No, I don't use the front. Use okay. the back. back. Oh, so you don't, don't dull yes, your knife. Yes. There you go. Okay. You don't want to do that. Yep. So that's the number one rule. Don't, don't take Chef Randall's knives and scrape them on the cutting board. Okay? Number one rule. <laughs> You'll be doing dishes all week long. All right. So, now, so pick your basil now. What you're okay. going to do is kind of lay them all out like that, like I have here. And we're going to do a little bit of our... Uh, our opal basil. You got some there? Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do what they call a chiffonade. And so if we have it kind of in a, in a little pack like this, we're going to roll it up and we're going to now come. And this is just, legal, isn't it? This is legal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to make a, we're going to make a, 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 a basil doobie. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then took we're going to. You took my lead. <laughs> and then we're going to uh, uh, slice it nice and thin. And then that's what we get is our chiffonade. Okay. Close. Close. All right. So now that we got all our, our prep done, we're going to. Uh, I think we're going to take a break. And we're going to come back, and then we're going to saute all this and put it all together. And I'll be done doing this <laughs> yes, when, we, done. when we come back. <laughs> but, no, we'll have to go on break yeah. for him to do his uh, right. herbs. Stick around. All right. <laughs>